Yo, what is up you indie cretins? Today I'm taking a look at a game called Rabbit Story. Uh, this isn't the normal type of game I would play. It's a uh, adventure, casual, kind of cartoonish. I think personally after playing the game it's based at a younger audience. Uh, I'd say from ages 5 up. Puzzles were quite easy, the gameplay was easy and yeah I just think it's aimed at a younger child but it was a good experience overall there was nothing bad about it so the story of this game goes you're a rabbit your girlfriend is a, I wouldn't say a kitten a cat she leaves you you're heartbroken you're wandering the forest and you meet a dog you fall in love with the dog and while you're with the dog you basically have feelings and thoughts about the kitten still the cat uh, you still want to be with her you think about her all the time it's basically what happens in real life when you have a breakup you still think about the person it's it's kind of based on that everybody's been through it in life so yeah that's the gist of the story uh, there's also hey. mini games in this adventure thing there's a, a ghost mini game where you've got to kill the ghosts with a flashlight there's um, two, I, believe, I think it was two or three times where you need to answer questions. It's like a little trivia quiz. You've got to answer science-y questions. I don't know why developer picked the science questions over other stuff. I guess it's because it's more generalised. I, I don't know anything really. But yeah, uh, there's mini games, questions, adventures. Uh, it's different. The game changes from summer to spring to winter. So you see the snow. And it's a really good looking game. One downside to the game, something that I did not like, was it was just mouse control. There was no options to use a control, which would have been nice. Or even my keyboard. Uh, this kind of game I would have liked to have just sat on my couch and not actually at my office chair having to sit here with my mouse. I would just like to sit on the couch and play with the control stick. So, like I was saying, I think it's based at younger people, but it is a good fun game. Um, I finished it in an hour. It took me an hour to play. Um, the price of the game is $5.99. Maybe make it $4.99, considering how fast the game is. Really easy achievements to gain, so if you're an achievement whore, perfect for that. Yeah, that's about it, really. It's a, it's a good little title. Not saying I'd play again. Maybe there's going to be a second part to it, because it did end a bit abruptly. But, yeah, overall, good fun. Good indie little title. So, go and support the developers as usual, guys. These games... They're good, they're good, and these developers are our future of gaming. These little titles are going to turn to these devs going to bigger companies, making bigger and better games for us. So yeah, go and show some love, keep them in the industry, keep us gaming. Till next time, Indie Cretins, I will catch you later. Have a good day. Peace out.